Hi guys and thanks for tuning in for another episode of Zealous Tutorials. Today we are going through a classic song by Hillsong titled Still. Um, now the song has about three verses and two choruses or three choruses sorry um, but all of them are played the same so whatever I explain on the verses applies to all of the verses whatever I explain on the chorus will apply to all the choruses so I'll only go through one verse and one chorus and the intro and the interlude are also the same so I'll only go through the intro once and it applies to all of them in the whole song so let's get started with the intro slash interlude Okay, so that is the intro. Okay, so now let me explain what I'm playing there. So the intro progression starts with the F major chord. You can play F major 7. Followed by an A minor chord. Then we go over to C major. followed by G major. And each chord gets four beats. Okay, so the melody line starts on the F note while pressing F on the first beat. So when I press the F note, that's when one starts. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So it starts with the F, goes to E, C, A. So I'm going to play this very slowly. so I hope that was slow enough. Uh, another option is to press the slow button in your YouTube media player. So if that was too fast for you, you can always slow it down. You can pause, pause it if you like and play it back whenever you, you want to at whatever speed you, would, you prefer. Okay, now moving straight over to the verses. The verse starts with a C major chord for two beats and then moving to the G major chord for two beats and A minor 7 for four beats moving to F major to a D minor to a G major Second line of the verse, C major to G major to A minor, and then 
F major, D minor 7, G major. Okay, and I'm going to play it in normal speed. Okay, now moving over to the choruses. The chorus starts on an F major chord, followed by a G major to C major, F major to G major to A minor, F major, G major to C major. In the last line, repeat F major to G major to C major. So that was it guys, that is the whole song. As I said, they do the same thing in all the verses, they do the same thing in all the choruses. And it's just a matter of dynamics, um, starting off the song very slow. And as it progresses, then you start adding all your instruments in, all your guitars, strings, and it just intensifies. So. So a simple song like this is really a perfect opportunity to add in a few things wherever you, you may feel like it. Because it's so repetitive, you have the freedom to sort of change things up and make it more interesting instead of repeating the same chords over and over. So if this video helped you out, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Until next time, see you later.